I just got back from doing a presentation at the uh, Ron Wolforth Clinic in Houston, and one of the things that that the, the guys that did the pitching presentations were talking about that was uh, such a major factor when it comes to pitchers producing energy was the idea of loading the glute, and um, that's something that I had never really thought about. But in this drill, this is kind of an accidental, really nice thing that takes place. It's a benefit that, um, without really trying to accomplish that, it was something that that I that I noticed um, came through in this drill really well. The goal here that he's trying to do is he's trying to stretch the upper body, primarily the lead arm, making sure that the lead arm goes backwards as the hip starts to go forward. He's trying to make sure that the that the stretch happens in reverse, so they're going against each other. So that's why the leap takes place is to try to over exaggerate, making sure that the that the hands are going this way when that hip is going this way. So that we really exaggerate that stretch in the lead arm and that leads to a great stretch in the upper body. But what I didn't notice was taking place was a tremendous load in the glutes. If you watch as he starts to get ready because his intention is to jump about five or six feet over to this um, this this other ramp. And in order for him to do that, his body over exaggerates one little movement. And that's the little squat that takes place. He, he's loading and he's trying to maintain leverage and he's trying to make sure that the hip gets out in the lead. But in doing so, he gets himself in that position that a lot of these pitchers found themselves, um, especially the 100 mile an hour throwers. You see it, you see this very often with guys that are throwing super hard is you see them loading up in that back leg and then exploding off of it so if we look at a couple of these you're gonna you're gonna kinda see that that's not, not quite as much left-handed because that's not his normal um, his normal direction but you see when he gets into a great position here you see there's a slight little squat hands go back and all he's trying to do right now is over exaggerate a couple of movements that has to do with the upper body stretch but he knows that he has to jump over here and so the byproduct of that or the non-teach or the self-leveling part of this drill is the idea that he's loading his glutes as well so there's extra power to be had from getting that gluteus muscle involved with with hitting a baseball we talk about it all the time how to use your legs in hitting but this is one of those things that's that's really difficult to teach but in a drill like this it's a lot easier to have it accidentally find its way in but you see him starting to squat just a little bit to over exaggerate the hip being in the lead but it also loads up the hip or loads up the back leg for that extra amount of, of power